Well, welcome into this week's Degrees of Science. Now, there's been a lot of talk about the 2024 total eclipse. We've got a cool project here where you could actually help scientists learn about the sun through that total eclipse. And today we're joined by Dr. Juan Martinez Olivares to talk about the eclipse mega movie. Now, Dr. Martinez Olivares, first, thanks for joining us. Two, for folks like me that have never got the opportunity to be in a solar eclipse or to see it, how, how amazing is that opportunity for someone to see? So, well, first of all, thank you for having me here. And yeah, an eclipse is, I would say, one of the most wonderful things to watch. You can see how the animals go to sleep. You can see how people get crazy. You can see the difference, how the change in the sun and the earth, it makes you feel part of all the universe and, and the cosmos. So, you know, we had one seven years ago and we're lucky enough to have one coming up next year. For people yeah. that may not live in the path, do you recommend doing everything you can to try to get to it, to be able to see it? Yeah, sure. If they want to see it and the in the full magnitude, they should go to when you have total light, totality. But nevertheless, if you cannot go, just watch it. Mm -hmm. it is, it's impressive just to see how the, the moon starts eating the sun. Mm -hmm. So the, the project y'all are working on is the Eclipse Mega Movie. What, what exactly is that project? So the Eclipse Mega Movie is a project that was prepared for the previous Eclipse. Um, and the idea is to have people, normal people with cameras and phones to send us all the images that you have to create a movie. So the basic idea is that if we want to do science of the sun, uh, if you take a picture, you cannot see different changes in the dynamics of the solar corona. You can, you can see it like this. If you take a picture of, your, of one car in the freeway, you will never see how the car crashed. But if you take multiple of those, then you will see how the car does crash. This is the principle of the Eclipse Mega Movie. You want just to see how the sun changes, for example, from Texas to the other side of the United States. What would you say to people that are like, I don't know if I'm good enough to do this, or you know, like I said, I'm not, I'm not a scientist, but you know, how much does it help you all to have more and more people to be involved in this project to provide you all pictures? Well, I would say that, I mean, I'm not an expert on Eclipse. I will try to do this. And I always thought that I'm not good doing science and I'm here doing science. Everybody does science all the days, all days. Every time we go to the kitchen and boil something, that's science, that's chemistry. Um, the more pictures that we get is better because we can, we can minimize the errors that are between different cameras. And that's the important thing of having a, a very good sample of data. So the more data that we, we take, the errors are going to be lower and all this stuff that we can deduce and investigate from it is higher. When people know of the sun, but some people may not know exactly what, what the corona is and what you are able to see uh, during eclipse. So what is the corona of, of the sun? The corona is the outer layer of the sun. So if you can see that it's a, it's a diffuse kind of gas material that is around the sun. We cannot see it because the density is very low. Uh, so what, when there is an eclipse, the sun is being, the, the surface of the sun, the photosphere is being covered by the moon and we can see faint stuff. So you can see this diffuse structure on top of it. So you were talking about how it's important to see the sun throughout the to total eclipse, the path that it goes. How important it is it for y'all to compare the way the corona looks in 2024 compared to the way it looked in 2017 with that uh, former eclipse? Yeah, that's important. It tells how the magnetic field of the sun is behaving. So it is very important to see how, how it, and the form that it has is the, the first. You're talking about this being a great opportunity for normal people like me that uh, want to help out. So what, what kind of help are you looking for or, you know, is it more your expert photographers or anybody that's just got a camera that's willing to try to take a picture? Um, my feeling is everybody. I mean, if you had you an expert with a camera, you have a, a star tracker and you can take pictures of the eclipse, we'll, be, we'll appreciate all that information. But if you are a person going on foot and you have a phone and you take the pictures, we also would like to see all the images. So is, your phone. yeah, so is, do you need, <clears throat> I know you, you, you can't, don't look at an eclipse until without 
eye protection until it gets to totality. Is it okay once it's in totality to you not have to have filters to take a, a picture of the sun? Yeah, if you if you don't take your filters during the totality, then you don't see it. Mm. So the filter would block it? Yeah, so oh, okay. you will not see anything. <laughs> okay, so is there any special training that people need to have uh, in advance of the, the eclipse to be able to know how to help you all out with this uh, movie project? Yeah, so we have several channels. So there is a website for the Eclipse Mega Movie uh, that is managed by the university, and Sonoma State University. There is another one. Uh, we have a Discord channel that people can just come up and make questions and talk between them. And there is a formal training for those who wants to be kind of uh, the, the masters, if you want it, of all of this stuff. And you can see all that information in our website. Okay, so you said y'all did this. This is the second one you did. What what did y'all learn from the uh, 2017 mega movie that y'all made? In, in science, we have seen flows, for example. We managed to see uh, some material that is going from the lower layers of the sun up. Um, we also learned that probably we need to do a better job asking people to help us doing science because the, the project not only is to take the pictures. The project involves also people to analyze the data, to be part of the data analysis community. So if people are interested to see if there is any coronal mass ejection moving in the corona, then you can do that in this project and help out scientists to determine what are the properties of that CME. We know this is gonna be the best chance we have on Earth to see uh, the, the corona around the sun, but how, how does this compare to, say, the, the SOHO satellite that's out that looks at the sun that has a corona graph? What, are y'all able to see the same stuff with that, or is it a, a different spectrum that we're looking at? It gives y'all a different view? So SOHO, the, the LASCO instrument on SOHO has the same uh, kind of cameras. So they look at white light emission. That is the one that we see. The difference is the distance that you have between your sensor, your camera, and the occulter. There is somewhere here. I will put it like that. So that, because it's pretty close, you're going to have some effects that are called diffraction at the edges of the occulter um, when you are close to the to the solar surface. In the case of the eclipse, because the moon is so far, you don't see that. So you can see actually structures around the solar surface. So this is a really cool project. And like I said, that citizen scientist part, I think is really cool to help y'all do Probably a lot more research than we would even understand uh, with of the sun, but I want to thank you for taking the time to talk with us and uh, explaining this uh, Eclipse mega movie. Oh, thank you.